My name is Tolliver Wills, and I have been the senior pastor here at Ponce Church for 10 years. I uh, came here in 2014 uh, following a call to come serve the Lord here in Midtown Atlanta. The best way I would describe Ponce is it's one of the most real churches I've ever been to. Um, everybody's super friendly, but they're genuinely, they want to be there and they want to help out and they want to serve God. That's a very refreshing thing about Ponce is that um, you can truly come and, um, and just really tangibly do life on life. Um, and the way I feel we were meant to do it as the church. My love for the city has definitely increased since coming to Ponce. Um, I believe, you know, we are called to like love the people around us and that is the city. And even though there are multiple issues, you know, that our city faces, um, it's ultimately because of our sin and because of our brokenness. And I think um, through God's love and through his word and through the sharing of God's love and his word, um, we can, you know, help people and we can show them that, you know, even in our brokenness that you're still loved and that you still have a purpose. And I think Ponce does do a great job of, you know, doing that to our city. And we actually met here at Ponce in Ponce new member class. Sparks were flying at the Presbyterian theology, but fast forward a couple of years and Oliver married us last summer. We had the honor and pleasure of attending Ponce um, a couple years back. We attended from August 2019 to July of 2021. Uh, we currently live on the other side of the country in California, outside of LA. Um, and excited to be sharing with you all a little bit about how much Ponce meant to the both of us. Honestly, we moved to Midtown Atlanta and I just looked on Google, the closest churches to us. And I looked around at a couple churches and something about Ponce Presbyterian just, it felt like where God wanted us to be even before we stepped foot in those doors. I first got connected to Ponce back in the fall of 2016 when I was a brand new graduate student at Georgia Tech. I had had a, a list of churches that I had been planning on checking out um, but luckily Ponce was the very first one on my list. My very first Sunday in Atlanta, I showed up at early. I came to Sunday school. Um, there was free breakfast, which was already a great start. Um, and I was, that was the first time I met my friend Caitlin DeJoya. It was really fun to feel like I had met someone who cared about me and a church that cared about me as a person instead of as a sort of a, another number of, of, a, of a, someone in the, this, with a seat in the pew. I also got to be a part of our, our community groups, um, as well as a women's Bible study. Um, and it, it was in those places that I, I really felt this place of belonging. We're challenged to celebrate that beauty and that diversity, and we're challenged to see everyone um, as being made in the image of God and valuable and worthy. I'd say some of the most significant aspects of my time at Ponce were um, the opportunity to really grow in my love of a, a multicultural environment. I, I really caught a vision at Ponce of, of the kingdom of God that it extends beyond race and ethnicity and socioeconomic status um, and life stage to, to feel there, there was this place where um, everyone was, was dignified and, um, and, and included in, in the worship of, of our Lord. Our time at Ponce uh, and being able to be a part of the community here um, has really just challenged me to, to have God's heart. Uh, for the city, um, to know, well, to see and know God's heart for the city. I think Ponce really opened my eyes to to see that all people are are dignified image bearers, and that there is this uh, specific mission that we have been set on to to reconcile one another to each other and one another to to the Lord. This campaign is really about extending our ministry, both in terms of longevity. The ability to be here ministering in Midtown for years to come, but also about expanding out to people in our community uh, that we want to be able to reach that we cannot for any number of reasons right now. You know, like God could use anything, right? But I think He is using this church specifically to grow the kingdom. 
And is that better off with or without this church? We need this capital campaign to some degree because this church is crumbling. Um, the structure is having issues. This campaign really matters to us because we think that Ponce is in a very unique location in Atlanta to really serve our community as one of the few Presbyterian churches in the area and especially our location in downtown, Old Fourth Ward, there's a lot of people here in need of the gospel. And so that's why it matters to us. We want to invest their time and resources in there, and um, we hope that, that you guys do it too. So we want our building to be a place that people can come into, not just on Sunday mornings, but all throughout the week for various reasons, whether they're already connected to our worshiping community or whether they can just use our building in other ways. Uh, that's really the desire of continuing to keep this building in shape, that it can be used on a regular basis. Our desire, having been here now almost 25 years, is to continue to be one of those churches that continues to have an impact for the gospel throughout Midtown and greater Metro Atlanta area. And our hope is, as we're stating it throughout the campaign, is for another 100 years. We're called as believers to, to grow the kingdom, and this is a, a church that does that. Throw yourselves in. It's a special place. We know that, and we miss it.